traffic. Here's a look at hospitalizations in both our states. Missouri's is up again, nearly 3,500 over the last two weeks. That's an increase of 53%. Kansas is also up, but not as high, more than 1,100 over the past two weeks. That's a 39% increase. Tonight, we do have an update on one of the most accurate ways to test for COVID-19 sampling wastewater. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener is looking into the new numbers just out today in Missouri. Every week, workers here at wastewater treatment plants like this one in Kansas City, Missouri, send samples to a state project tracking COVID-19. That project releasing new results Friday. They show the Omicron variant is now everywhere in the state of Missouri. The lead researcher at the University of Missouri says he was surprised how quickly the Omicron variant spread through the state. Just this week, it's moved into more rural areas, and he says we have yet to hit the peak for Omicron. He also talked about where we stand in comparison to the Delta variant. I think we're twice the level we saw at the height of the Delta wave and um, probably nearing all time highs. Now Mark Johnson was reluctant to say when Omicron would peak in the state of Missouri, but he said based on this week's numbers, we're not there yet. Matt Fleener, KNBC 9 News. KMBC plans to continue bringing you weekly updates on wastewater sampling as it's believed to provide an extremely accurate representation of just how quickly COVID is spreading. Well, Missouri nursing homes are getting hit with COVID-19 right now. The CDC reports cases among nursing home staff is at more than 1,200. That's up from a peak of 98, 981 last fall. And while many nursing home residents are vaccinated, 87% in Missouri, just two thirds of nursing home staff are immunized lower than any state in the nation. The North Kansas City schools managed to reopen today despite hundreds of teachers out sick. KMBC 9's Haley Harrison spoke to the superintendent who says it was the worst day for staffing since winter break ended. Haley. It's hard to believe, Kelly. 300 teachers were out today and they could only get 100 substitutes and that is because plenty of subs are out sick as well. Superintendent Dan Clement says HR worked very early this morning to shift staffing in the district. Central office staff, librarians and other certified workers are now stepping in to keep kids in class. It's been an all hands on deck type attitude with our staff. I'm so darn proud of them. Um, there's like, where you need me and where can I go and how can we make sure that we keep school in session? The Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on Monday means that this is a three day weekend for schools. Dr. Clemens thinks that that could help with staffing as teachers might have a little bit more time to recover from their illness. He is hopeful that 140 teachers could return to work on Tuesday. Kelly. The Independence Health Department reports its two week COVID positivity rate is at almost 42%. That's the highest it's been since the pandemic began. It's also why the city is holding a vaccine clinic tomorrow. It will be at City Hall from 10 to noon. No registrations required, and this is open to anyone five and older. 